Hello, I'm Dr. Maria Portellos Romito from the U of FIFAS Extension Office here in Sarasota County. Today, we are going to talk about zesting, zesting lemons and oranges. As we begin our holiday season, you might begin preparing all those holiday cookies and recipes that need to use uh, lemon peel or orange peel. So I'm gonna show you the right way how to zest. And we're always gonna start with fresh lemon and a fresh orange, but we have to wash this first. So whenever we start using fresh fruits or vegetables and we're going to be uh, cutting them, we always wanna start by removing the label and then washing that fruit or vegetable uh, to make sure that the outer skin is nice and clean. So we washed our lemon, we'll take off our label, and now we'll wash our orange. Now that we've washed our lemon and our orange, I'm gonna dry it off with some clean paper towel. And we can begin to zest. Remember, zesting just brings this incredible flavor to a product. Uh, and the big mistake that people make is they overdo it. You don't want to get the white part or the meat part of the peel. You just want that very fine upper part of the peel to zest. And there's all different kinds of zesters on the market where you, whether you get something long and thin, or perhaps you want something uh, heavier as, a, as your microplane, and, and that's the other name for it is a microplane. Whenever I'm zesting something like a lemon or an orange, I always prefer my long, thin uh, microplane uh, product. But again, it's not uh, a heavy pressure. It is just a light pressure, one roll, and that's it. And you keep moving your zester or your microplane across the fruit. You don't go back and keep going over the same spot. And you be, can see that it's beginning to collect on uh, my microplane. You, most recipes will call for a teaspoon or a half of a teaspoon. So when you think that you've collected enough of that peel and you can always start to smell oh it smells wonderful uh, that you have that teaspoon or that half a teaspoon then you can just take your fresh zest and push it down and just measure it up and there you go you've got your nice lemon zest and you can see on my lemon that I haven't gone in to the meat of the lemon. The next item we're going to be zesting is an orange. And I, I selected a nice firm orange. And again, the same principle. We just continue to uh, take our microplane, passing it over being careful not to repeat any spot twice and just to collect that top layer where all the oils of that orange or that lemon are stored. So if you're not going to use your zest immediately, you can store it in your refrigerator, but I wouldn't store it more than just a couple of hours uh, before you use it in the product. Because remember, this contains all the wonderful oils that provide all the flavor for your baking. Now, zesting doesn't have to replace using uh, an orange extract or a lemon extract. It can complement uh, that ingredient. And if you've run out of orange extract or lemon extract, you can use an orange or lemon to replace it. I hope this tip has helped you today, and I hope that you enjoy your baking this holiday season.